So this is the Western Digital Purple Drive. This is the one terabyte model. And uh, we're gonna be going and running through some tests real quick, but I just wanted to kind of show you it and introduce it to you. Uh, basically, this is just a standard, like I said, one terabyte model from Western Digital. You can kind of see there's a huge amount of space back here in the back if we look at like sort of where the spindle is and where the platters would be. Uh, there's a lot of framing here, so this is a, a very small drive to be honest. And this basically, you may notice if you're into hard drives, that this bearing is slightly larger than say standard drives would be. That's because of course if you're not familiar, uh, the Western Digital Purple Drives are very similar to the Western Digital Reds in that they are designed for 24-7 um, use, basically. The only real difference between, say, this one and some of the other Western Digital products, like I said, the Western Digital Red Drive, is that this is for basically, it's supposed to be optimized for uh, writing. So you should be able to support a very large amount of writes to this drive, just it should just be able to hammer it. Now, that would be at the sacrifice of some read speed. So this drive is more geared towards just constant data writing. So this is, you know, they call it the surveillance hard drive. So you could really use this for any kind of event where you would have a lot of writes. You're making writes all the time. Uh, not as many reads, maybe, but uh, more writes than anything. And uh, these drives are supposed to be able to handle a lot more vibration than, say, standard Western Digital Red drives, which are basically just designed to be in a rack somewhere. Uh, these drives might be more, you know, I don't know, you've seen where things are, like security offices, stuff like that, so maybe hotter climates or maybe more vibrations, more more dusty environments, things like that. So these are supposed to be slightly more heavy duty. They're actually slightly cheaper than the Western Digital Red drives. However, um, Western Digital Red drives supposedly have more optimization for being in a RAID. How much and what that whole thing is is kind of a mystery to anybody else outside of Western Digital themselves because they obviously write the firmware for these drives. But we're going to go ahead and actually kick over to my computer and talk about the speeds of this drive and sort of see where they're at. And then finally you'll stick around if you stick around. If you don't, you know, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll give you my thoughts on how I feel about the drive and how I think it performs. So stay tuned. So I guess the first question on everyone's mind is, how did the Western Digital Purple Drive actually do? So, here we go. Here's the numbers right up on the screen. As we would expect, the sequential numbers are really, really good. Um, that's what this drive is supposed to sort of strive for. And the, uh, the random reads and writes are okay, but not great. They're nothing special from any other mechanical drive I've ever used. There's no real way to gauge reliability in long term of course so that's kind of out of the question here but it looks like these drives are going to hold up pretty well and of course there are a lot of claims that western digital makes about these kind of drives that really you don't really know how that's going to work you know like how do you measure vibration resistance and how do you measure stuff like that the only thing i really thought to do is compare this to another drive that i had which was a western digital caviar black edition from a couple years ago and the only reason why i use this drive is because it's the only drive I had that's one terabyte. Um, a lot of the other drives that are bigger have larger cache, etc. So this one seemed like about the next best thing. And as you can see, I guess really all this does is kind of highlight how the Western Digital Black drives, even from a couple years ago, were slightly slower. And unfortunately, I don't have a second Western Digital Black drive that's newer to compare to, but you can kind of see where we're going. The sequential reads and writes are a lot better with the purple drive than this older Western Digital Caviar drive. But as you notice, the random reads and writes from our uh, 4K tests, those really aren't any better. That's separated by a couple years there, so that kind of gives you an indication of where they were sort of going with this drive. It's actually pretty apparent when you copy large files to the Western Digital Purple Drive, and if I had a video surveillance system, I would probably also be able to tell you, but basically, it's it's very good for copying very large files. It, it can copy them consistently and quite quickly, but reads and writes, the access times aren't any better. I will say that the Western Digital Purple Drives do, don't take a very, very long time to spin up. If you have any familiarity with using a Western Digital Red Drive or like a Seagate Iron Wolf Drive outside of a NAS environment where it's spinning all the time, they take forever to spin up. And the Western Digital Purple Drive actually doesn't have that problem. So that's something to think about if you're just using one of these Western Digital uh, Purple Drives in just a basic computer setup outside of a RAID. And if there's any of you out there who just want to compare systems or want to look at uh, the system specs for the rig that I used to test all this stuff, the processor in it is the Intel Core i7 6700K. And then we have uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, that's 2.8 gig sticks, and those are the Corsair Vengeance series. 
And then the motherboard underneath it all is the MSI Z170A Gaming M5 motherboard. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of give you this rundown of the specs and they'll be on the screen as well. Just in case you wanted to compare, I tried really hard to make sure that the system that I'm running these on is at least not the bottleneck in this situation. That's about it. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know, comment section below, and otherwise I'll talk to you later. So that's it. We've covered basically all of the Western Digital Purple's speeds, and we've talked about a lot of its features, or lack thereof, I guess. It's just a hard drive after all. And I've kind of told you my thoughts. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.